What's up guys welcome to the channel and uh, today we are going to set up an SSH server on our Android device inside Termix. So uh, for some noobs out there who have just you know browsed and came to this topic called SSH server I mean like you know some people might be watching this or not knowing what an SSH server is. So uh, I'll just give a small information about that. So basically an SSH server uh, is set up so that you can issue commands to the host device from another device as such a personal computer so with from the personal computer you can issue commands to your mobile phone so that's how it works so let me show you how it's done guys so let's move on to the video so guys let me jump over to my android tablet over here so what i'm going to do is install this package called openssh so this is the command that you should do and i will leave all these in the description below so yeah let's wait for this to finish If it fails, simply execute the command again or also just uh, reinstall Termix and try again. So this time it just seems to work, so let's wait. Yes, and once it's finished, you need to issue this command. Have a look. It's called password, P-A-S-S-W-D. And the password I'm giving is 123456. Temporarily, you can give anything you want. For this video, I'm using 123456. So now, issue this command called sshd. And leave the tablet, I mean, I'm using a tablet. Leave it as it is. Leave it to your phone as it is. So yeah, now jump on to your PC. Let me get my PC right now. So uh, you should, I think, uh, actually note down the uh, Wi-Fi IP address of your Android device. So in this case I am going to check my IP address from my router page. So I can see all the uh, devices which is connected to my router. So I am going to find my tablet from this. Ok I just found it. I will just copy that. And actually yeah that's the tablet of mine and I am just going to close this window for now. So this is called the terminal ok. This terminal is uh, unique to Linux. And also the alternative for Windows is called the command prompt. So you need to take the command from it if you are using the Windows and this terminal if you are using Linux. So yes, this is the command uh, SSH space the IP address space this and also dash P space this port. And this port number is really really important. So uh, if it doesn't work, the reason is this port number. I will leave all those details in the description below if any error occurs in the future. So yes, you need to hit enter and type YES, yes. And now you need to enter the password. The password is 123456 which we have used earlier. So yes, we have now logged in. So we can now issue commands to the device which is connected over to the Wi-Fi. So yes, we are now controlling this device over Wi-Fi. So yes, now let me give you a small package installation using our Termix. PKG install its top now let it let us wait for it to install and yes this is a termix package and yes it works on our pc too so we are basically controlling this termix environment using our pc so that's it guys for installing an ssh server on our android device we have installed it and also we have connected it using your pc over here so yes that was an absolute success and uh, I hope you subscribe to this channel and also like this video so that I can post more videos like this for helping you guys itself. So thank you guys, like and subscribe, goodbye until next time.